Hi there, it's John from Bright Moor Gaming and welcome to another video looking at miniature painting basics. And this time we're going to be looking at gap filling using liquid green stuff from Citadel. So as you can see on this model here, we've uh, glued the, uh, the back which came in a separate piece onto the main body and there's a bit of a gap between the cape and the main body. So what we're going to do so that we don't get a really ugly line when we're painting, we need to fill that gap with uh, a bit of putty. Um, and so there's a couple of different types you can use, but the one I'm going to be using is liquid green stuff. So the other tools you're going to be needing is some water. You're going to need an old palette so that you can mix things up because you might want to change the consistency. You're going to need some stuff to get it out and manipulate it around with some old uh, brushes and some earbuds or q-tips if you're American. So what we're doing here is we are just scooting out some of the green stuff out of the pots. In this case my stuff's a little bit old so it's gone a little bit dry but that's fine. What we can do is just uh, add a little bit of water which we're doing here with a with, a, with an earbud and, uh, and just mixing it around and uh, getting it to the right consistency. So I'm just uh, using a bit, an old bit of pinning rod just to uh, get the consistency right and uh, make sure that it's all nice and even and smooth. So what I'm doing here is I'm just using my old paintbrush. Um, just you need to keep it slightly wet uh, just to, uh, to get the green stuff onto the model and uh, pushing it down into, into the gap. So don't worry if you uh, get a little bit into the details because this is a metal model. It's quite easy to uh, to just uh, to scratch it out and what you can do is you use a wet, wet brush and that'll uh, pull it away quite nicely. So what you're going to do is just gradually, over time, uh, layer it up and, and fill in that gap. So moving on to the front of the model and those two gaps that we uh, saw there. So just uh, again, just the same as before, getting it in and then just using the end of the tip just to, uh, to, to manipulate it around and get the shape that you want. So um, and as, essentially, as long as you keep, keep the stuff wet, then uh, you uh, should be able to maneuver it around for a little bit. In terms of consistency, you want to keep it as, a, as essentially as a pretty thick paint um, so, that, uh, so that it's got some uh, solidity to it so you can move it around. So I'm using a wet brush here and the reason I do that is just so that it, what it means is that the, the finish will be nice and smooth but uh, if, if you're struggling to get it smooth don't worry too much because uh, you can leave it rough then you can come back and wait for, wait for all the, the green stuff to set and then you can essentially use a, 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 a nail file or something like that just to, uh, to smooth it off so a fine grit nail file works really well for that. In terms of uh, using this on uh, green stuff on plastics and resins, same sort of principle applies, but uh, you've just got to be a little bit more careful uh, in terms of clean up afterwards because uh, you'll want to be using, uh, you, it's much more difficult using files and things like that on plastic models without damaging the models themselves. But essentially that's me pretty happy with the result that I've got and I'm, I'm happy now to, uh, to get happy now to get the um, primer on this model and get it painted. Right, so thanks for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, so if you've got any questions, do just leave a comment and I'll, uh, I'll endeavour to answer. But uh, in the meantime, uh, enjoy your hobbying and uh, take care. All right, bye-bye.